Good morning, welcome to the first day of summer. This is Kim speaking on um, oh, Monday the 1st of June. So, official summer that is of course. So here we go, uh, looking at the uh, market, starting off with the Euro dollar first and actually before I do that, let's just talk about the uh, events happening today. Fundamental events, there's bank holidays in uh, most of Europe actually. I th believe or lots of Europe there's a bank holiday today but we do have um, uh, ISM manufacturing in the US at 3 p.m. but that's it and I don't even think any of that uh, that will create anything at all looking at other news just looking through and a bit of follow-on from last week with Trump's speech on Friday not really referring to uh, tariffs or anything of the such it leaves us pretty open to sort of business as usual for now at least so let's look at the markets technically the euro well it's had a good move up all of last week uh, Tuesday onwards pushing upwards are we going to see the same today well we'll see it's at the moment looking at its four hourly time frame there's a marginal divergence running across the highs here which can, which can be seen a bit clearer on the 60 minute here a bit of divergence across the highs it has the potential to come back we've got a daily pivot fractionally untouched although it's wiped its face next to it in, in terms of the price of the hour before the pivot start literally was around that sort of level so we've got the pivots around that area so we have have got a potential target there if it does start rolling over but realistically quite morning i would expect and it could just drift somewhat we'll see that's the euro um expecting it really looking for retracements at this stage maybe still for further upside now we've had the 34 here a couple of times would be nice a pull back to 50 but maybe a big big pull back that relatively may spoil the pattern, the upward pattern but we'll see that's the euro looking bullish still looking at the pound the pound also it's gradually broken out of that consolidated phase Friday it pitched up a little bit today it's pushed back up to those sort of levels messy old week last week with this sort of inverted head and shoulder pattern still could have some more to come the obvious thing on the four alley here is that 500 above which could just attract price that seems 124.50 maybe would be the first sort of stage in between that but that uh, 124.75 sort of area could could be a good a draw for price to the upside looking at the shorter time frame here the 60 minutes and well it's not really giving too much away here looks like it's pitched pitched its pivot both uh, the euro and the pound have got the uh, weekly pivots quite some way below so if they did start rolling over that becomes a target but at this stage as it's still potentially moving away we'll see but a break of this uh, previous 60 minute hour uh, candle hour <laughs> 60 minute candle would confirm a lower high here and would be starting a bit of a softer morning to start with but overall these are generally in upward trends okay that's the pound dolly yen he says press the right button there we go come out look at the dailies first and that's continued to stay in a very tight range really some of that range was sort of literally about 20 30 pips for a long period we did see this bigger move uh, later in the week there but um, it's it really is there you go that's on Friday actually uh, but for the main of the week even even for a long period of that day it sat in a 20 pit around about a 20 pip range yes it kicks back into the original range there a few targets it might head for if it continues to the downside here so if we see a continued sell and of course the biggest one here is this uh, pivot here the monthly pivot at uh, 107.28 so new pivot in there which may get hit early on so it's a yen uh, the Aussie dollar Aussie dollar now finally we've kicked above that uh, daily 200 it's sort of been picking picking away there it's just sort of been building up really and finally today we've seen it push through but you can see most of last week it was coming up to that level at a rising wedge sitting in there and it's finally uh, finally broken through that 
if it was to roll at some point we've got the weekly pivots below again all of these markets have weekly pivots quite a distance to start from on the monday away but uh, maybe a target if these markets turn around and f fly down later in the week but at this stage it the majority of them look bullish uh, the, it's probably a bit of rsi divergence kicking across these highs here yep certainly is but uh macd is a bit smoother numbers and it's not really showing there so there is a point point uh, possibility that will roll over but any retracements really may be strong enough to give us a uh, move uh, 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 an opportunity to buy into this we'll see how that rolls okay canadian dollar Again, it's another market that's consolidated for well three days there. Really, it never really did too much. It looks like it's broke. Well, it's made a new low this morning already. But again, another messy sort of market. But but just consolidated those bottoms. It flicked around on Friday with data coming out there, which wasn't particularly great. But uh, has sold off again this morning. Again, weekly pivots above. If it does start changing course, which would become a target looks a bit iffy down here but there's no change of there's no there's no divergences kicking in here maybe there will be if it they are on an rsi if it comes down and double bottoms or somewhere in that region but of course that won't it'll only really be tradable maybe if it breaks the trend that's running across there or the top of these, these prior high there but for now um it does look bearish so that's the main currencies i'm looking at there let's have a look at oil and oil well it's in that uh, wedge pattern again this morning oh a wedge pattern again this morning say so that wedge this is formed over the weekend here uh, sunday night into this morning it's just come out a little bit this time frame and look at the more important uh, moving averages here so just into its daily 100 drawn up to that Ooh, monthly pivot sits below at 30 20 ish but uh, the trend is pretty pretty solid at the moment and I think it really helped the markets with no tariffs being mentioned in Trump's statement etc and we so we could maybe see higher lows here we could be seeing the continuation of this uh, move maybe if it breaks out of this wedge this morning so that's pretty much where we are oh S&P's sorry I beg your pardon it's a quick look at the S&P's and S&P's again no, nothing detrimental they're not seeing the i mean there's a lot of uh, rioting etc going on in the us but that's not reflecting into the markets at all so we're at the moment just seeing a continuation of this upside as i said with trump not saying anything regarding the tariffs on china it's left the markets to float he's i think he's playing a funny old game here in terms of what he would normally be doing but obviously we're moving towards the presidential or the presidential race get, builds up some steam as we push through the year so s and p's uh futures here really not really giving too much away but uh maybe later we'll be able to see something but it still has as i say the uh, bullish outlook at the moment so uh, that's it for today have a great one. Bye for now.